Well, we are hosting a Japanese delegation. Um, they are here in the United States visiting and learning about urban parks, and they wrote a letter to our director, Michael F. Riley, and asked if they could come visit our park system, and we said, wonderful. We already knew that we had a world-class park system, but it's nice to see that uh, we're getting visitors from uh, other countries who recognize that too and want to see what they have to learn from our experience. A couple of minutes ago, I took a bike, a very nice bike, and uh, take a cycling to the, uh, the Capital Crescent Trail. I saw many people uh, riding, but this is the first time to do it. So now I'm, I have to <laughs> shape up. So when I go back to Japan, I should buy the bike for me. So my commuter uh, way, I should change train to bicycle. We, our purpose is to learn about healthy people and healthy park. But first, we should uh, go <laughs> to park and doing something for health. So that is what I thought. Uh, meeting some of the users on the Capitol Crescent Trail was a big highlight. Uh, and then this afternoon we're going to go to the Brookside Gardens and see our Heart Smart Trails and see the Japanese Tea Garden and learn about some of the sustainable, we're doing a sustainable parking lot out there and so we'll be visiting that. Oh, I think it's great. We actually had lunch with uh, the majority of this delegation when we were out in San Francisco, uh, traded some experience and some good ideas, uh, and it is wonderful to see that this focus on parks, particularly urban parks, is an international issue. We don't have a, such a big land, so I would say the combination of natural, natural park and urban park would be here. Enough green and uh, uh, animals and the people, cars, road. So I would say combination of nature and urban in Japan. Uh, some uh, long time ago, Japan gave the uh, cherry blossom to Washington DC. So in return, United States gave us uh, dogwood. So our friendship is continuing.